multiverses. Multiverses actually won fighting game of the year um, at the game of the... All right, I guess this is going to be one of them days where I'm just flubbing up stuff, so y'all just bear with me. At the Game Awards, uh, Multiverses won a uh, fighting game of the year. So, do you gentlemen feel like it actually deserved that with all the other fighting games that's been out longer? I mean, technically, Multiverses is still in, in beta, I believe. Um, yeah. So, there's been other fighting games that came out. I mean, Guilty Gear Strive made amazing ways. I mean, we were at a point to where it was like, look, these fighting games need netcode. We're in a pandemic. It's horrible. That game came out and made waves. Um, we got Melty Blood, uh, Type Lumina. Um, we have other games that came out, um, but Multiverse is one game of the years, fighting game of the year. So, uh, how you feel, Mr. Game of Lift? Do you feel like uh, it deserved that title? Um, so we, we was watching this live, of course, and when I saw this win, I think my vote, well, first of all, I don't know why in the world Sifu was even sitting on this list, but I, I guess that's neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> um, I was looking at this list, and obviously DNF Duel and King of Fighters would have been the ones that I would have said won fighting game of the year. Um, but I, 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 I understand the reason why Multiverses won is because one, it has so much hype around it, free to play, smash competitor, I guess. Had so many people playing at first. I haven't really, I've tried it like very minimally myself. I hadn't really like got into the game hardcore or anything like that. Um, but from what I've heard and what I've seen, it still has a player base, but it's not quite as much of a tremor or earthquake of players that people thought it was going to be. Like people might have thought of this game, oh, this game could really compete with Smash. And as Smash has shown before, any other game come out and try to be Smash, just can't be Smash. I mean, Nick All Stars was at least it did better than Nick All Stars. Like we can say that, but it definitely did better in that game. I think that Nick All Stars probably would have done better if it had adopted the free to play model instead of having people pay what forty fifty dollars for the game when it came out. Um, now, well, Mister no- Gaming, just to give you some context of what you was talking about, how the player bases dropped, we actually TVFGC actually did a post on it, but. It saw a 98% drop in player base since it first came out. So its all-time peak was like 153,000. And uh, November 24th, its 24-hour peak was like 2,500. Mm. That's what mm. on Steam, right? Yeah. Okay. That's that's a lot. I mean, I guess it doesn't account for console, but I would assume it's probably the same on – about the same on console, maybe. I don't know. That's still a lot of players. Like ninety eight percent drop. That's that's almost everybody. Like yeah. Everybody that started playing the game almost dropped it. Um, Bro, those are um, that's um, uh, fighting ex layer numbers. And I had a glass of water, so I poured out for that game. But um, and also JoJo's Bizarre Adventures on this list, which is actually a really good game. Yeah. Um. But at the same time, it's it's kind of weird because I think there was Persona Max. I think didn't like the ones that re released of like Persona Max uh, Ultimate this year. Uh, and yeah, I, and I don't know why that wasn't on the list. Um, because if you're gonna put JoJo's All Star Adventure, which was came out on the PS3, yeah, obviously this game should have been on there as well. Um, but really, my personal vote would have been DNF Duel or KOF. Um. But I, like I said, I think Multiverses just won because of that hype around it, because of the big player base at the beginning. But if we talking about longevity and like what's the overall better game, I honestly would have gave it to more. Than, I would have gave it to King of Fighters. I mean, King so of Fighters. So basically, you accusing Warner Brothers of dropping off a big bag at the Game Awards is what you're saying. I don't know what they dropped off, but the they, <laughs> the, the players definitely dropped off. I know that, but. I don't oh, know what else they dropped. Oh, off. Oh, oh. Mm. I'm just, I'm just saying. You said they dropped. I don't know what they dropped. They dropped the bag. They dropped some. The players dropped. I don't know. Look, but I, me personally, I would have gave it to KOF. Um, like I said, this is just a. It was just a weird thing in general. Like you having Sifu on the list. It's like that's not even a fighting game. Like come on, people. Like this is 2022. Do we not know the specific inherent differences between what makes a fighting game a fighting game? Seafood is an action game. It's not. It has fighting included in it. It's not a fighting game. 
if that's the case, we ought to might make God awards and they'll make cry fighting games. Put them on the list too, huh? You, you, you know what's funny? You know what uh, what is um uh what's called categorized as a fighting game that you probably wouldn't expect? What's the Tetris? Like what's you talking about on Game Pass? Like on like and like Steam, like it's categorized as a fighting and game. In Steam? Yeah. Wow. I know Game Pass got some weird categorization. Yeah, that's like that definitely a wall. Me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they got like you go to role playing on Game Pass and they had injustice of the what? Injustice is not a role playing game. Technically, you're playing the role of a superhero fighting man, another superhero. Nah, man. We we not gonna split hairs. Like when they talk, when we talk RPG, we didn't know what we talking about. RPG elements, not a fighting game. Mortal Kombat is, I guess, Mortal Kombat is role playing. You take the role of Cassie Cage and her family. It's a shooting game too, man. I mean, Aaron Black got a gun, right? It's it's, right. it's it's a it's a card shooter, you know. Yeah, and and then it's also a rhythm game, right? Because you know you gotta get your rhythm right when you're playing fighting games. So. Yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, I I I don't really solely agree with the multiverses thing. I just think it was really just one of them things where like the game had so much hype and it was just like people like this is just new, the big new thing. And I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't know if y'all would say this a hot take or not, but I never really thought multiverses looked that great to begin with. That's just me. It looked okay, but I, I I just didn't see this game as to be something like it's going to come in and just revolutionize something. To be honest, the only other game that I can think of that's Smash Lite that's really giving Smash any competition is Brawlhalla. And that game looked like it costs $5 to make. And that game is out here doing nothing. <laughs> and it's actually, quite, it's actually quite fun. Remember, yeah, everybody, pretty you can find his Twitter at name right there up under his real name. Who gonna dispute? Hey, who gonna dispute this? Who gonna say it right now that multiverse is better than Brawlhalla? It definitely ain't doing better than Brawlhalla. Yeah, that game, that game, yeah. It, and it has an interesting mechanic. It's like weapons. It's like, oh, this makes it different. So, but, but multiverse was that Evo though, bro. He was that Evo. Man, that's because they dropped that bag off. Oh, we like, finally got it out of them, folks. Breaking news. <laughs> We finally got it I mean, I'm just saying, it was like, oh, you $100,000 before anybody played a game. Like, bro, <laughs> well, I guess it makes sense. Like, everybody has, a, I guess, an equal chance, but that's a lot of money to just drop. Like, okay, I can say $10,000. But hundred grand, and ain't nobody played the game? You just say, bro, come on, man. Somebody that don't play the game in the back been testing, like, yeah, I'm about to get this $100,000. What you thought? So I'm, I'm going to shut up before anybody, you know. Somebody might have hated somebody and said already, but I'm just multiverses fighting game in the year. All right. You might find out they got Nintendo uh, Nintendo Ninjas. You might find out they got what well, Warner Brothers goons, bro. So I'd right, slow down. Hey man. They need, <laughs> they need to they need to worry about them players dropping off before they grab me first. Jeez. <laughs> All yeah. right, E. So uh we already got thin ice going thanks to Mr. Gamer left. So uh yeah, man. turn. I ain't do nothing, man. <laughs> you know, I, the thing about a multiverses is I thought multiverses was cool, but yeah, I I would not game of the fighting game of the year though. Oh man, no, I I can't I can't agree with that. I I, I can't. I mean, so no, man, just no, not multi. It's multiverses is a, is a cool game. I, I like the uh, I like the characters. I think that's kind of what like drew people to it in the first place is the familiarity of characters. You know, like Wonder Woman. They got Batman played by Kevin Conroy in there. That's that's forever going to be cool. Like no matter what. Like for Kevin Conroy playing Batman, that's great. Got for some reason you got Steven Universe in the game. I don't know why, but you got Steven Universe and like Jake the dog and Finn the human from uh, Adventure Time and stuff. And I'm like, oh okay, that those are people I know. Those those are definitely characters that. I I have heard of you got the what was it like well Arya Stark and I'm like uh okay I don't know why but okay and um I don't know I'm not really surprised that the uh, player base dropped off to be honest like the novelty's got to wear off super quick man like you can only <laughs> you can only like play with Tom and Jerry like so many times before you're just like all right man this is a uh, getting kind of stale not to say that like it's necessarily like a completely stale game, but I could understand somebody being like, "Yeah, I don't. I'm. I'm gonna go back to another fighting game now." Like, 
if like I would have, I agree with Mr. Game and Lift. I think like DNF Duel would have been a really good candidate, you know, at the very least, because number one, that's a game that kind of came out and with like a decent amount of hype. And then kind of for all intents and purposes, as far as most people are concerned, that game died and then came back to life because they announced like, you know, well, first they announced that really disgusting hot fix that they tried to pretend was a patch you know which didn't really do anything and then now they're like okay we're going to give your guys a real patch and we're going to add a new character and stuff so i mean like that game i mean uh, it's it's on live support but it's still alive but 98 percent drop in player base bro that is ridiculous like i'm saying that's like fighting it nah you know fighting ax lair had like <laughs> like five people playing at one point and three of them are here right now you know so uh, <laughs> uh, like you know what i mean like that's like it's gonna be the, a hot the, episode but i could tell already <laughs> y'all y'all coming out the gate shooting <laughs> like there was there was nobody <laughs> playing that game bro like i mean at the very least you can be like yo <laughs> I know this is the low bar, but like they Warner Bros. can be like, yo, man, at least we're not fighting EX Layer. <laughs> I mean, that's something, right? Like we did like we don't have zero people playing the game. <laughs> I mean, that's you know, I mean, let's let's take our wins where we can get them, man. Let's we don't we got some people playing the game. So I don't know. I think like the community whoever is still playing the game, those are they they must really like Bugs Bunny. Or like in like LeBron James because like that that uh I, I don't know man Bro, like really? <laughs> <laughs> hey Tom I ain't gonna lie Tom and George, Tom and Jerry is a character that make me keep playing it I can pay yeah, you know how how precious Tom and Jerry was to the childhood I oh yeah man with Tom and Jerry. Bro the, the real talk they have like Tom, the Tom and Jerry combo is probably one of the coolest like fighting things i've ever seen in like a game like that because it's basically as far as tom is concerned you're not even there like the enemy isn't even there he's trying to beat up jerry the whole time you just keep getting in the way like i love that man but i as a fighting game as a, like a, as a fighting game i don't know man like i would have to i'd have to like you know absence makes the heart grow fonder i'd have to take a break and then come back like i, I think i might go and try that game out again like after we get off of here actually um but yeah man uh game of the year fighting game of the year excuse me nah there were so many other candidates like mr game and lift named named a few like you know like i mean like t uh, melty blood i mean melty blood is definitely has has had its like missteps like there's been missteps with melty blood melty blood melty missteps but They've always, they've always like compensated, like all the DLC that they give out, like in order to get all the characters in um, multiverses, you had to buy a founder pack, you know, or like get one of those like packs and stuff to pay for it. Um, I did that actually. I bought the founder pack for that game. Um, and uh, I think like for the most, uh, for a few of the characters in Melty Blood, a lot of those are free. Like the last two characters they came out with is like, uh, was it like um, the Count of Monte Cristo? I think that's that I think that's actually the character's name. Like it's him and another character and they're they're both free characters in the in the game. So I'm like, man, like they're over here giving away free characters and I got to pay to play as like LeBron James and Lola Bunny, you know what I mean? Like I don't know. It's a uh, I, I I don't know. So yeah, in conclusion, no, I don't think it deserved a game fighting game of the year. There were just too many other fighting games that came out, man. Like there's too many like there's like especially king of fighter 15 king of fighter 15 at like was hype long before it even came out like every every couple weeks we got like a new trailer and stuff like that like the hype was like there and it's still there right now people love that game and for good reason it's a good game you know especially after like king of fighter 14 the people really weren't feeling like that i liked it but like a lot of people weren't feeling king of fighter 15 uh, in, I mean, 14 like that, and that's okay. But yeah, this game came out like they put Ryuji Yamazaki back in the game. We got Billy Kane again. We got like, you know, you got like the Team Orochi. Then, oh man, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting hyped up just thinking about it, to be honest. I think I have King of Fighters on the, on this system. Anyway, uh, yeah, that that's pretty much all for me um, for, uh, about like multiverses. Bottom line, didn't deserve the um, award.
Ooh, you muted. Yo, are, are you are you are you talking to Rex on? Oh my bad, I had my mic uh, my mic muted. Um, you know, I heard tears in the background that just you know randomly, you know, feel like they in the opera. But um, okay. First of all, what I want to say. First of all, what I want to say is, um, multiverses is a good game. Um, you know, I won't be like these these hooligans on here just you know destroying every game uh, they yeah, talk I about. I wasn't a good game. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a good game. Just a uh... fighting game of the year, good game though. Yeah, nah. But, um. You know, I, I agree. I don't I don't feel like it deserved. I mean, it did come in um a huge wave. It had a huge wave when it came in. Um everybody was hyped about it. We saw the backing that Warner Brothers was actually putting a lot into this, the hundred thousand dollars that they were giving away at Evo. Um, you know, the beta, all that stuff. It had a lot of hype. And uh I'm gonna be honest. I mean, you know, I'm not a person who's afraid of correction. If you wanna tell me I'm wrong. You know, tell me I'm wrong, but um, I personally just feel like stuff like the the, the game awards. When it comes to actually ha- being knowledgeable knowledgeable about fighting games, it's it's kind of like if you went to uh, I don't know. Let's just say you was at the BET Awards and they was giving away a country music award. You'd be like, <laughs> what, "What y'all know about it?" You know. And then they messed around and gave it to somebody who made like a kind of country song, but it was like a mix with hip hop and they just gave it to that person when well, somebody else probably truly deserved it. I mean, it's basically just saying like, they probably don't know that much about the fighting game scene, you know, and it's just yeah. like, hey, choose a few like Devin said, they had Sifu in there. Me personally, I feel like y'all should have went back and got games from like 2021. I know they probably only looked at games as 2022. But like he said, he was like, what about Multi-Blood? I'm thinking, what about Guilty Gear Strive? Guilty Gear Strive was a game that basically came into the FGC at a time where we needed something bad with good net code. That was a great game. A lot of people could get into it. I remember that hype when we were uh, figuring out Guilty Gear, when we were knowing Guilty Gear was going to come out and people were getting like the betas and stuff like that. I can remember Mr. Gamer being hype about Giovanna um, you know, E being hyped for a new Guilty Gear game because you know that's something that he followed for a long time. I feel like Guilty Gear Strive could should have got it, even if it did release in 2021. Just my opinion. But uh even if we are just sticking to games in 2022, yeah, I mean I could see DNF Duel not getting it, but why didn't KOF 15 get it? I mean, people were dumb hyped about that game. So um I mean, it's just one of those things like, you know, hey, you know, what's the more popular one? Give it to that. Basically. You know, uh, I mean, God, if you watch that show, God of War just released not too long ago, and it swiped a lot of stuff from uh, Elden Ring that we was just like, how's this happening? You know, Elden Ring kind of like changed the culture almost. I mean, yeah. so uh, that's how I feel about it. Once again, Multiverses is a great game. Not saying it's bad or stuff like that, but did it deserve it over stuff like KOF, Guilty Gear, stuff like that? I don't think so. But hey, what do you know? I'm just a dude, you know, sitting in space, you know, talking to you guys about fighting games every week. So anybody else got anything to add 